Live and on demand from the WNY News Now studios in downtown Jamestown, this is News Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us for News Now at Noon. I'm Justin Gould. And I'm Matt Hummel. Now at noon, a Dunkirk man is charged after police say he was disorderly at a school in Silver Creek. And a look at Dunkirk Police's new command center. But first, we check in with Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Hey, good morning, Jay and Matt. And good, well, it's actually afternoon. I don't know why I said morning, but... Hey, it's Thursday, and that means the weekend is getting closer in view. As we take a look at the radar, we've had rain that's been moving through the area from west to east today, and a lot of the widespread rain is now since starting to taper off, but uh, maybe a few more showers for the afternoon. 66 was the high yesterday, 62 was the low, and the high today was 69. That occurred at 8 o'clock this morning. Since then, the temperature has been going downhill. It's been going the wrong direction uh, since then. And uh, 0.01 inches of rain over the past 24 hours. Now that at now uh, that's at the airport, which is north of the city. So your total may have varied if you have a rain gauge. So 67 degrees for the early afternoon. Again, after a high of 69 that occurred in the morning, a few rain showers around. As we go into the late afternoon, hey, the sun may even start to peak out at times. But yeah, that temp is going the wrong direction, 62 degrees. And then as we go into the evening hours, it looks like we start to dry out partly cloudy skies, but it's going to dip back into the 40s for tonight. We'll talk about uh, the remainder of the rain chances plus the weekend in that quick solution seven day later on in the show jay matt all righty dakota thank you a city of dunkirk man was arrested after sheriff's deputies say he was acting disorderly at silver creek central school last month the district's student resource officer investigating that incident that staff said happened in the elementary school's cafeteria after school. 47-year-old Anthony DeLong allegedly used profane language towards staff while in front of parents and children there. DeLong was issued an appearance ticket to appear in the town of Hanover Court to answer those charges. Erie to Chautauqua Cataraugus BOCES will receive a $500,000 grant for school security. The announcement from the U.S. Attorney's Office said that the monies will help educate students and faculty to deal with acts of school violence. This funding also supports training to create and operate threat assessment and crisis intervention teams. The technology may be in the form of a mobile phone app, hotline, or website. The grants, valued at $70 million nationwide, are in addition to the funding to the National Association of School Resource Officers. Now, Justin, just as a uh, clarification there, there was a total of three grants nationwide. Erie 2 BOCES received money from two of the grants, and, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, so two of the grants there, mm -hmm. each worth $250,000 for the total of 500. Now, this is really important for the Erie 2 BOCES system, mm -hmm. I would say, as a whole, mm -hmm. because when you look at, uh, you know, just like the story we had at the top with the Silver Creek, it's very important to A, have, mm -hmm. you know, resource officers in the schools to develop relationships with students, and then B, also have the proper uh, equipment there to prevent such uh, acts. You know, we see this all the time with school shootings and whatnot. So certainly great news from the U.S. Attorney's Office as well. If, if you yes. want to learn more, you can head online to WNYNewsNow.com. We, of course, will have uh, the full story there. And kind of uh, breaking developments early today, California recently eliminated cash bail, and New York State Assemblyman Andy Goodell believes that it would be a bad thing for this for New York State and residents of Chautauqua County if it were to happen here. Goodell said that in some some in Albany right now would like to eliminate cash bail, something that he will not stand behind. The across the board elimination of any cash bail for criminal offenses without a case-by-case -case consideration is a mistake because there are a number of people who will flee the jurisdiction or won't show up. And when someone doesn't show up for a court proceeding or a court hearing, then the whole system is compromised. The ability to move forward is compromised. There's a tremendous cost to the system. The police have to try to track them down. Uh, none of that's a positive result. 
Now here in Chautauqua County, Goodell says that there's a significant effort to properly set bails in our judicial system. He does support reforming the system to better serve the accused statewide. I do support efforts to make sure that the amount of the cash bail is appropriate and it's not used to keep somebody in jail when they are likely to show up for trial. I also support alternative version programs that have been implemented, such as uh, releasing somebody under supervision, so you know that there's a responsible adult that will make sure they come back. Uh, it's called an RUS, released under supervision. I support releasing somebody on their own recognizance if they have strong connections to the community and are not likely to flee and will likely show up. I certainly support that. And there are other options as well where they can be released and now, ultimately, you know, this is up to the state legislature. I mean, going forward in the, even the next session that they're expected to have, you know, we could see them bring this up. Uh, you know, New York State and California, mm -hmm. very similar politically anyways, in, in that uh, they're very progressive states looking towards what's next. So certainly, interesting conversation with the assemblyman. Uh, we'll have much more on our website, WNYNewsNow.com, as well as the day progresses here, uh, talking about that if anyone is interested in learning more. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, obviously, Matt, you spent uh, a lot of time on Monday with uh, District Attorney Patrick mm -hmm. Swanson, and, and he talked about that a little bit, too. Yeah, he said that it's doable, the, the elimination of cash bail, but what he hopes is that should they eliminate that, um, that the uh, Assembly in the State Senate would talk to uh, fellow district attorneys and himself. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, D.A. Swanson's part of the State uh, District Association of, or the State Association of District Attorneys. Mm -hmm. So he hopes that they have some input there because there are concerns such as uh, what if somebody gets, somebody that shouldn't be released is released. Right and they go after maybe a, a witness or a victim or what have you. Right. So he hopes to have some uh, input there. And now the, the whole the removal of the cash bail, does mm -hmm. that just mean that it's up to the judge's discretion whether to release someone or to commit them without uh, to, to a jail system? Is that kind of how that works? Well, that's what it appears to me because uh, listening back uh, this morning to what uh, D.A. Swanson told me, it, he said that it's either you're released or you're remanded. So there's probably going to be guidelines of uh, like for the judge on mm -hmm. who gets released and who gets right. remanded. But obviously, upper crimes. But you are what, but the thing is, we all know with the law, any law, there's those uh, gray areas. Right. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. As D.A. Swanson said, a lot of it may also depend on the elections this fall. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, we'll quote, so keep up on that as well. Matt, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, next here, a man is locked up following a drug raid in Cattaraugus County. And later, a look at the upgrades to Dunkirk's new police command center right after this. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. Fall is here and Dorler Landscape Designs is ready to help you with fall cleanup. Visit their website, dorlerlandscape.com and download their fall cleanup special coupon. For more than two decades, Dorler Landscape Designs has worked hard to get your property ready for winter. And once the snow falls, count on Dorler Landscape Designs to keep your driveway clear. Call Dorler Landscape Designs today and let us work for you. Dorler Landscape Designs at dorlerlandscape.com. The weather is heating up and so are the deals at Express Bike and Auto right here in Jamestown located at 1761 Foot Avenue Extension. They are your one-stop shop for all of your vehicle, ATV, and motorcycle needs. They even sell vehicles and guess what? Financing is available. So what are you waiting for? Get to Express Bike and Auto right here in Jamestown at 1761 Foot Avenue Extension now. I just love to be with the dogs and I like to do them one at a time. They don't wait for five hours in my shop. We have full groom, which includes everything from A to Z, nails, of course brushing, tri any trimming that needs to be done. I do offer teeth brushing, which is a little extra. 
So if he takes me two hours, it's $40. If he takes me three hours, I still keep it down. As long as the dog comes back happy and not at the door, I'm happy. Police say they seized a half an ounce of crack cocaine, four grams of marijuana, scales, and packaging material following a raid at an Olean apartment on Tuesday. Cattaraugus County's Southern Tier Regional Drug Task Force has charged 42-year-old Sharif James in the case. Police said the drugs have a street value of over $9,000. James was, or excuse me, almost $3,000. James was arraigned and remanded to Cattaraugus County Jail. State Police, Olean Police, and the Cattaraugus County Sheriff's Office assisted in the investigation. Law enforcement in the city of Dunkirk cut the ribbon on a newly remodeled communications center recently, replacing equipment that was nearly 30 years old. Police Chief Dave Ordolano saying funds allocated in the mayor's 2018 budget allowed for these needed upgrades. Ordolano said that the desk sergeant, Daniel Melzella, coordinated the project along with a number of city officials. The entire room was gutted. All electronical and communications and data equipment were updated. Officials said that all the security cameras at the city hall complex and in the police department were also swapped out for new ones. Police said the center is the heart to day-to-day -day operations for their department, and this is a huge boost, boost to the area. Now, Orlano said the upgrades will allow officers to continue to provide that community with the best public safety available. Certainly great news uh, for them in Dunkirk, Matt, because uh, we see all the time that uh, uh, a lot of agencies are working mm -hmm. with older equipment, yep. especially in smaller departments and small city departments as well. Yeah, we, we've seen uh, think other departments that have made these changes. You right. know, the sheriff's office over the years has had a lot of changes with this stuff. I know JPD has, I'm pretty sure, I think Chief Snelling's told us before that they've upgraded some stuff. So it's very important to every so often make sure... Um, you upgrade. Now, you're not looking for, say, the new iPhone every year, per right, se. Right, right. But you're not looking to, you know, have an iPhone 3GS when the iPhone X or whatever right, is out there. Right, so. that's, that's a really good analogy, <laughs> absolutely. You want to stay up on it. You don't yeah. necessarily yeah. want the, the you know, yeah. some, some people still like their flip phones, you know. I, I, I find the iPhone tech. Hey, Andrew phone. Luck of the Colts, their quarterback, he, yeah. as far as I know, he still has a flip phone. Really? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. You'll, and a couple of players, Alfred Morris, who used to play in the NFL, I think he still does. He still drives around uh, in an old car, so hmm. yeah, it could happen, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, let's us, let us know what you think about this. Amazon announced this week that it's raising its minimum wage to $15 an hour for all U.S. workers, and New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo is applauding that decision. In a statement, Cuomo said that uh, he's happy that Amazon has followed New York's lead, raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks. Cuomo said that this decision helps workers and families who are the backbone of our economy. Now, New York State Governor said that he urges all businesses and other states to follow suit and show what he calls some respect to workers. Amazon said the $15 minimum wage will benefit more than 250,000 employees and 100,000 seasonal workers across the country. Now you can compare that minimum wage to the federal minimum, which is $7.25 per hour. Now, obviously, Matt, Amazon is a huge company, and uh, certainly, you know, we see um, that being, um, you know, a big, uh, a big boost to many local economies. I know in Buffalo that they, mm -hmm. they have an Amazon uh, store as well. Um, but but the minimum wage is is so such a tricky issue, I think, because you know if you raise obviously there's rising costs right mm -hmm. to families and things like that. But at the same time, um, and, and you let us know what you think in the comments. Um, but uh, you know. So certainly there's a lot of people on, on for and against that uh, decision, but Amazon, one of the huge companies making it. Well, well it's one thing I'm interested to see in um, how much will goods go up. And, and goods obviously vary based on uh, what, pro or what company makes them. Right. But one thing that you will definitely see go up that's an Amazon thing is probably the rise in shipping costs. Right. And you're going to see stuff like that go up 
So it's going to be interesting to uh, to me to see how many people use Amazon. I don't right. think Amazon's going to slow down in, in the we'll next year or five years. Right. But and, and we'll see if their price goes up too, because I know yeah. when you have Amazon Prime, if they're Amazon Prime price, I mean, I wouldn't use Amazon unless you used Amazon Prime. But Joseph mm -hmm. uh, commenting, he says, Cuomo knows much about politics and nothing about business. And a lot of people seem to agree with that, <laughs> certainly. It's difficult sometimes for politicians who... Mm have been career politicians to be able to accurately express um, what some business leaders are thinking. So certainly a, a good point mm -hmm. there, Just More than one in three women have experienced sexual assault, that according to the CDC. And up to 75% of women are estimated to have experienced sexual harassment on the job. Now, a new study shows that survivors could face some serious long-term health problems. Kim Hutchinson has more. Anxiety, depression, insomnia, high blood pressure, just a few of the serious health consequences facing women who've survived sexual assault, according to a new study published in JAMA Internal Medicine. The study evaluated more than 300 women between the ages of 40 and 60. It found that survivors of sexual assault were three times more likely to be depressed than women without a history of sexual trauma. They were also two times more likely to have high anxiety and sleep issues. Also, women who reported sexual harassment at work had higher blood pressure than women who didn't, putting them at serious risk for stroke, aneurysms, kidney disease, and the number one killer of women in the U.S., heart disease. The researchers say their study shows the critical need to reduce the rate of sexual assault to protect women's health. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. Next here, the latest in local sports. But first, a check of today's forecast when we return. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Turn to Brotherhood Property Maintenance for all your lawn care and landscaping needs. Serving both commercial and residential lots, check out Jamestown's fastest growing landscaping crew on Facebook or call us now to book an appointment. The Fitness Bunker in Lakewood is a locally owned and operated club that cares about your health and wellness. They invest in it. Right now, enter their 30-day challenge, where for only $69, you get 30 days of unlimited everything. That's right, everything, along with two one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions. Then, if you lose 10 pounds, you'll get the next month free. Plus, the first place winner will get two Buffalo Bills tickets or a $100 gift card. Details right now on the Fitness Bunkers Facebook page. With coverage that matters, this is WNY News Now. First Defense Weather is sponsored by Quick Solutions of Jamestown. Count on Quick Solutions for printing, copying, mass mailings, and so much more. Part of your team. Learn more at QuickSolutionsUSA.com. That's QuickSolutionsUSA.com. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. That heartbeat during that uh, Health Minute segment in the background was a little interesting. It, well, actually, I thought my own heart was beating in my ear there for a second. Uh, this is the Olean Sky Vision camera. You can see the wet roads down there on Union Street. Traffic flowing pretty well there. 68 degrees, and they've gauged less than a tenth of an inch of rain so far today. That's a 24-hour rainfall total that starts at midnight. Now, uh, the National Weather Service in Cleveland has finished their storm survey from um, the storms that occurred on Tuesday, and this is their final uh, rating on the tornado that came uh, through 
uh, PA yesterday. It's still in EF2, but now we got the path length. The overall damage path was 4.8 miles, and uh, they have actually uh, taken the time up here to 2.43. Uh, that's the time that they uh, now believe is the time that it first got down, and uh, this is that same tornado that damaged that nursing home, and uh, so again, uh, that was an EF2, and uh, Cleveland also put out another thing talking about how rare it is to see tornadoes in October, and it is a little bit rare to see uh, that kind of severe weather this late in the season. So the chance of rain today, pretty uh, numerous, especially in the morning, but it's actually starting to taper off. And then again, through the weekend, kind of a wet weekend with scattered rain, and then next week, mainly dry for now. But boy, yeah. HD News Now cam, the clouds really just uh, socked in there and a few raindrops have shown up on the camera lens. 68 degrees is the current temp with that west wind of 9. And again, when you've got the dew point of 67, that means the uh, humidity is very high, so the air is very saturated. First defense Doppler radar, again, the, a lot of the widespread rain has tapered off from west to east. So we're now getting into this scattered light nature. This light blue is very light rain. Uh, um, all this light blue is actually the lower end of the color table. And uh, we'll put this in a time lapse over the past hour and you can see here this is kind of a slow progression over the last hour but it's all moving to the east and again we'll be in and out of a few scattered lighter rain showers for the afternoon hours let's show that to you here on future scan you can see the the widespread rain is hightailed out of here and again what's not being picked up here is maybe the chance for maybe a few scattered light rain showers but otherwise it dies down for the night and then tomorrow is going to be dry as well so tomorrow is going to be a nice day a lot of this rain that you see here is not going to happen uh, the model i think is all oh, is uh, kind of uh, plotting some no rain uh, that's going to happen tomorrow. And sign of the times, there's a frost advisory out for the Tug Hill region and temperatures up there will get into the 30s tonight. Boo! Yeah, yeah, that's coming. But at least it's not going to get to the 30s here. That's the good <laughs> news, but it's coming. Yeah, just want to let you know on that. Temperatures along the Lakeshore areas today. The high temperatures occurred earlier today. The temps are falling throughout the day, so we'll probably fall into uh, the lower 60s here for most areas. Your temperature, what are you doing? You're going in the wrong direction. That's the presence of a cold front that's going to be moving through. Uh, the temperatures today will probably end the day in the 50s here, except for that accession uh, that's uh, Warren probably up there at uh, 61 degrees. But otherwise, we probably could see some partial sunshine breaks for the end of the day. Now... Your future, brought to you by Quick Solution. 62 Friday, 76 Saturday. Mother Nature is going to give us whiplash. The temperature's up, down, up, down. Take a look at Columbus Day, 80 degrees. Woof, we should be near 64. So it's Mother Nature's whiplash for the next seven. Norm Rodriguez will have sports right after the break. Hey, this is Ryan Hedrick reporting from the Jamestown Bowling Company where the bowling is off the hook, the food is even better, and the camaraderie watching sports is oh so great. The food is fantastic and the drinks are cold. Mark was bowling almost a perfect game. Mark, do you come here a lot? Every day. Wow, Mark comes here every day. No excuse for you not to get to Jamestown Bowling Company on Foot Avenue. Jamestown Bowling Company. Eat, drink, bowl, and be merry. The Frewsburg Pharmacy is the small town pharmacy with big time service. Located at 26 West Main Street, Greg Nelson treats his customers like family, so you know you are in good hands when you walk through the door. The Frewsburg Pharmacy has everything you need and more, including a gift shop for the seasons. Stop down to the Frewsburg Pharmacy today and let the staff show you why the Frewsburg Pharmacy is the pharmacy that cares about you. You're watching WNY News Now, your source for breaking news. There's an old saying, there's no news in the newsroom. Well, it's true. The time I spend at the anchor desk is just part of my day. Most of our time is spent gathering stories in the community, stories that matter to you. We can't do it alone, and we need your help. When you see breaking news or have a news tip we should know about, drop us a line on Facebook today, email our news desk, or call our newsroom at 488-7226 so we can bring those stories straight back to you.
The Falconer Falcons women's soccer team shut out the Dunkirk Marauders 8-0 in Dunkirk last night. With the win, the Lady Falcons improved their record to 6-5 on the season. Their next games will be tomorrow and Saturday at home against the Allegheny Limestone Gators. The Maple Grove men's soccer team will be at home today at 4.30 against the Westfield Brockton combined team. The New York Yankees used their home field advantage last night, defeating the Oakland A's 7-2. Both Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton hit mammoth home runs for the Yanks. Luis Severino pitched four innings and struck out seven batters. Afterwards, manager Aaron Boone heavily utilized his bullpen. The Yankees will be on the road tomorrow night for Game 1 of the ALDS against the Boston Red Sox at 7.32 on TBS. The Buffalo Sabres will host the Boston Bruins tonight in their season opener. This year's Sabres will be led by new team captain and fan favorite Jack Eichel. The game will be at 7 o'clock on MSGB. Fans can also watch the game on the NHL app. Justin and Matt, back to you. Awesome. Norm, thank you so much, sir. It's going to be an exciting game. Hockey is back, you know. Go that, Penguins. Uh, fall is here. Go Penguins. Thank you, Norm. Very much. Go Penguins. For that. <laughs> Matt, Matt. Matt and his Penguins, let me tell you. Um, so today is National Taco Day. Woohoo! Woohoo! Dakota, you, you like tacos? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, who, who doesn't like tacos? Um, National Taco Day is uh, every year on October 4th to celebrate. You can have tacos at home, which is probably the more affordable way, uh, you can make, <laughs> or at least for me. Uh, you can make tacos. I thought uh, you make the big bucks, Jay. I, I, I do. I just spend it on that iPhone 10. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, you know. Thanks, AT&T. Uh, no, uh, you, can, you can make a taco bar, or you could go out. Uh, there are a number of deals uh, nationwide. Taco Bell is offering four tacos for five bucks. Now, this morning, this is kind of sad news. We reached out to all three major taco distributors, I guess you could call them, taco restaurants, mm -hmm. in the area. And uh, all three of them said they are not offering any deals this year for National Taco Day. And one of the uh, sites, which I call, and I don't want to name names because it's not really mm -hmm. fair, but they didn't even know it was National Taco Day until I called and told them about it. So hmm. one of those funny things. I, you'd think if you had a restaurant or something, you'd kind of... Now, I'm going I'm to ask because you know. this isn't a local name, so I don't yeah. mind not being fair to them. But did you call Taco Bell? Um, yes, and that's how I got the info on Taco Bell, is like that they're it. offering the four for five. So Taco Bell has deals. If you want to shop loco, I'd head on over to Taco Hut. I, they're probably one of the better ones in the region, I'd say. Downtown Jamestown, little Taco Hut action. Speaking of tacos, mm -hmm. is there anybody else who puts ranch dressing on their tacos? No. Mm. You have no. not lived until you put ranch dressing on you your tacos. Well, then why am I here? On your tacos? <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, no, it, it is really, disgusting. really good. I'm Trust me sorry. on that. Oh, man. It's gross. Shall we go to the seven day? Yeah, please. Yeah, so uh, the temperature is 69 Lake. degrees. That occurred at 8 a.m. this morning. Since then, the temperatures are falling. We'll fall down to the lower 60s, probably even a couple upper 50s by the time the day is over with. And as I said earlier, Mother Nature is going to give us whiplash up, down, up, down, up, down. And uh, by Monday, 80 degrees. That's well above average. So enjoy it while you can, folks. Absolutely. Uh, Dakota, thank you well, very, very mm -hmm. much. Um, ranch on your tacos. I still yes. can't get that. Oh, man, that he, makes me sick. Joe says blue cheese. Oh, no, no, no. You like blue cheese? I love blue I, cheese. I, I not, not having tacos today. Why having, would you want to eat wings. moldy cheese? I love blue Ugh. cheese, but not on my tacos. Oh, my gosh, Dakota, you haven't lived. Dakota, aren't you, like, frowned upon in Buffalo because you put blue yes, cheese on Yes, that is the one thing you don't do. Besides being a Patriots fan in Buffalo, which, which I was, is. Uh, you know, you don't put ranch on your wings, and you don't dip them in, in ranch. Hmm. Oh, my God. Well, I don't yeah. care. Blue You're not living. Nasty. Yeah. Well, you're not living, Matt, because you've never put ranch on your tacos. You're a Patriots fan. You don't have any room to talk. Let's go out to the parking lot after show. <laughs> Let's, Let's do go it. To Black. Let's go to Black so we can go to the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Facebook Live this on my personal phone. <laughs> uh, Joe says they taste good. Uh, Mary agrees with you, Dee. She says she loves ranch. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy some tacos today, if that's your thing. 
You're my new best friend, Mary. News continues all the time at WNYNewsNow.com. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. T-G-I-F. Adios. Happy Taco. Know.